Hello everyone and welcome back to Film Radar. To put it bluntly, TV in 2021 was a little slow to get going. So much so that it seemed easier to just catch up on the last year's fare. However, as the year progressed, television proved to be more than fruitful. If you're patient enough to wait until summer. There are six months left in the year and plenty of shows to come, but these are our top picks for the top 10 shows in 2021 so far. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Number 10, Sweet Tooth. Sweet Tooth was a pleasantly fantastical addition to Netflix's lineup this year, and its big bet on childlike wonder paid off handsomely. Despite the fact that it is set after a deadly virus has decimated the human population and caused the collapse of civilization, Sweet Tooth is more a fairy tale told from the perspective of one of the other side effects of the apocalypse. A human deer hybrid named Gus, whose father sheltered him from the worst of the world until shelter became untenable. Gus's journey through a world he had no idea existed is a beautiful coming-of-age story with a talented supporting cast and an impeccable cute-to-concern ratio. Number 9, White Lotus. Set across one week, The White Lotus is the HBO summer miniseries that is a required watch. Starring everyone from Coney Britton to Jennifer Coolidge, the cast is a deeply loved actor, populating Mike White's satirical look at a tropical resort with a hint of mystery. While the chemistry between Coolidge and the beleaguered massage therapist played by Natasha Brothwell should be enough to draw you in and keep you watching, the miniseries shines a darkly comedic spotlight on the type of wealth and true crime we've come to love in our miniseries over the years. Number 8, Shadow and Bone. Shadow and Bone is a rare book to television adaptation that used the time between publication and premiere to improve the source materials in a variety of ways. The original novel by Leia Bardugo was a smash hit, but Shadow and Bone, the series, diversifies the cast, adds a subplot starring characters from the companion series Six of Crows, and brings some of the book's messed up romantic politics to light in a thoughtful and entertaining way. Number 7, Mayor of Easttown. Mayor of Easttown, which premiered in mid-April, is finally giving us the authentic Pennsylvania accent we've been waiting for. Kate Winslet stars in the critically acclaimed series, which has topped dozens of critics' lists. The story revolves around a small town dealing with the aftermath of a heinous murder. However, while Winslet's character is dealing with this, she is also attempting to keep her own life together. Number 6, The Underground Railroad. It's a drama series based on the Underground Railroad created by Barry Jenkins. The Amazon series premiered in mid-May and received immediate acclaim from critics and viewers alike. Thus, Mebdo plays Cora, a Georgian who escapes slavery and boards a train to a better life, as long as she can avoid the clutches of a notorious slave catcher. Number 5, It's a Sin. Sure, it's a heavy watch. But HBO's It's a Sin is a fictional account of a disease that shook the world. The London set series with Russell T. Davies does not disappoint in its artistic integrity and emotional gravities, focusing on the early years of the AIDS crisis long before it had that name. Number 4, Lupin. Lupin, reportedly the first French series to reach the top 10 in the United States, stars Omar Sy as Hassan Diop a cunning thief whose brilliant crimes are inspired by the famous French literary character Arsène Lupin. Sane series starts with a Sane attempting to steal a historic necklace once owned by Mary Antoinette from the Louvre, and it only gets more dangerous from there. George K. and Francois Yuzan, the series creators, maintain tout suspense at every turn across 10 extraordinary binge-worthy episodes. Number 3, WandaVision. There's no reason why a sitcom pastiche grief metaphor starring two tertiary Avengers should be a smash hit in television masterclass, but Jack Schaefer knew exactly what she was doing with WandaVision. The genre-bending series reintroduced us to the MCU after more than a year and a half away, and it immediately elevated storytelling possibilities for Marvel, Disney, and television itself. Paul Bettany and Elizabeth Olsen juggle comedy and drama admirably, providing a TV comedy crash course as well as plunging new depths for their superhero characters, particularly Wanda's internalization and unpacking of her grief. Number 2, Invincible. 
Robert Kirkman is best known as the creator of The Walking Dead, but Amazon's Invincible is set to change that. For fans of the comic, the first season of the animated Prime Video adaptation is nothing short of a dream come true, nailing and even improving upon the source material. For the rest of us, Amazon's first season of Invincible is a standout example of a trope obliterating superhero story that doesn't feel like any of the other trope obliterating superhero stories that have vied for attention in recent years. Number 1. Hacks So far, Hacks has been the summer's breakout hit. If you enjoyed Gene Smart's witticisms and Mayor of Easttown, but found the content too heavy, check out Hacks by Paul W. Downs, Lucia Anilo, and Jan Statsky. In what appears to be her final act, Smart plays a comedian. Hannah Einbender portrays a comedy writer who appears to have blown her first act before it even began. When the two cynical women meet, they realize that their best chance at success may be leaning on one another. That's it for today's video. What do you think about our video? Tell us in the comments down below. As always, please don't forget to subscribe to Film Radar and hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.